Hi guys, I'm Jessica Phoebe Knox. I was a finalist this year in TropFest 2018 and I'm really excited to see what this year's TropFest has in store. So my film regime this year was selected as a finalist for TropFest. So I filmed the film in four hours in one day and it was a lot of, you know, second and third takes and we just kept moving on and we managed to get it through post-production and submitted it on the day of the deadline. I think we had an hour left <laughs> and we, we made it into the finals, which was just mind-blowing. It was really exciting. So some of the biggest challenges with this film is representing a culture accurately and sensitively, I think is really important. I myself, I'm from the Middle Eastern background and my family came to Australia during the war, which was in Egypt at the time. I felt that sense of connection to the story. The fact that I, I incorporated people who, were fr who had those experiences, who were Syrian refugees themselves, rather than imagining what it would be like and, and making the film without consulting them and without including them is really important. A lot of the ideas that came in within the film, so for example, her scrolling on the Facebook feed and liking posts was something that actually they did just to cope. And making, you know, is anyone still alive? Put a like now. It's such a, such a negative situation to be in and such a horrific situation to be in. I think the most important thing is to just get your film made. So I was sitting on it for a while wanting to make it perfect in, in the way that I really want to make. And I think as a filmmaker I should be entitled to make the film that I want to make. I think everybody should be afforded the luxury of a big budget, uh, no matter where they're from, and being able to make the film that they want to make. Um, I made my film with people that I know. There was only a, a crew of four of us on set and I directed it, wrote it and produced it myself and acted in it. I just got it done and that's what you need to do. You need to follow your dreams and just make the film. Make sure it's a story that connects with yourself first before others. If you really believe in a story and you be truly believe in its potential, then people will see that in your film. I was afraid in making my film because it was completely in Arabic and I was afraid that it wouldn't be selected and also not just selected by TropFest but by many festivals all over the world. Given that I'm a female, I live in Parramatta and I'm making a film in a completely foreign language. People actually are really interested in films that are in a foreign language and they're really interested in films that are different to what they've always seen. What I really like as well about Tropfest is a couple of years ago they did a blind selection so they selected films not based on gender and I think that's a really great initiative that Tropfest pioneered and I think festivals should learn from that. So since TropFest I was approached by a couple of producers and a couple of companies that wanted me to be on board as a, either a writer, director or actress. So it launched my career definitely. I got selected as part of uh, many women who applied, about 10 female teams that applied to go to a conference hosted by For Film's Sake and Bird's Eye View called Filmonomics. Okay guys, so make sure you get your films in by the 4th of January. I had till the 11th of January, so you guys don't have much time. I did my film in four hours, you've got no excuse. Submit it and submit it now.